So it occurs to me that a lot of you um, might end up doing Chapter 11, even though um, it's not absolutely necessary to cover it for the course. So some instructors will cover it and some instructors won't. So let me show you how to do some of the... Um, of course, Chapter 11 is in the optional notes section, just like the previous 5.5 um, change base formula was. So first thing I ask you to do here is to graph y equals the absolute value of x by hand. The way to do that is to go into y equals sorry, and you press the math button, you move to the right to the number menu, and there's absolute value right there, number one, and then you just type x, close your parentheses, and graph. Oops, stop. I don't have a regular window. Zoom, six. There we go, regular window. There's the absolute value graph. And of course, if you need some points for the grid, you can always get those from the table, second table. So 0, 0, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, and so on. All right, that's how to do that. Next thing, um, these are solving by, there we go. How would you get this, where these two equations are equal to each other? Well, what you would do is you would clear 7 minus math absolute value of x plus 2, x plus 2 close parentheses, and then 2 math absolute value of x plus 3, close parentheses, minus 5. Enter. And then I would graph them. There's the one v, there's the other v, and then you could find the intersection, second calc, number 5, enter, enter, and then for guess, just move closer so that the blinky cursor is closer to whichever one you want to find. So since the cursor is closer to the left-hand side one right now, if I press enter, it'll find that one on the left, which there it is. All right, so that's how to do that. Um, it, by the way, when, you, when you're trying to solve an equation like this, you really notice what's the only variable in there? x. So the only answers to this are negative 6.6. .6. Forget about the 2.3, we don't care about that. So negative 6.6, .6 and let me find the other one real quick. Enter, enter, gotta move over. Right, 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 right. There we go. Enter. And hey, I never noticed that before, but if you look at the key history, see the little hourglass? That just meant that I, I pressed the right arrow and I held it down, and it just dragged. Cool. So there's the other answer, 1.3. Right? So the, the 3.6 is irrelevant. All we want is the x value here. That's typical of, of all those types of problems in the course. Um, for less than, um, greater than, that's all solved um, by hand, so I'm not going to worry about that. Then I wanted to show you guys how to do something like this, where y is less than or equal to 2. So let me show you that. So let me clear these out. And what you want to do is you want to type the equation as if it was an equal sign. So y equals 2, for example. Okay? Or let me see if I have another one in here. Ah, there's a good one. y is greater than 2x minus 5. So let me do that. 2x minus five. That's a good one. I don't want to graph both of them at the same time though, so I'm going to go over here and, oopsie, not there, and press e enter on the equal sign just to turn it off right now. Alright, now for the less than one, I wanted it to be less than, right? So I'm going to press enter. That's a thick line. Enter again. That's shading above. That would be greater than. Enter again. That shades below. So I press graph, and it shades below. So there's y equals two, which is a solid line, and then less than. Um, for this one, for example, let me turn this one off. So let me go over here and press enter. Then I want this one to be a less than. So let me press enter, enter, enter. There we go. That's less than. Oh, rats. It wanted supposed to be a greater than. And so you, you have no choice. You just have to keep pressing enter again and again and again to get the greater than. All right. And then let me pause it for a second. I'm going to put in the other equation. All right, I didn't want to run out of time. I'm going to go greater than 2x minus 5, less than the 3 fourths x plus 1. See, there's 3 fourths x plus 1. So when I press graph, it did greater than the 1, less than the other, and I can see the double crosshatched region is the actual solution to this problem. All right, I think we are finally all done now, really for sure, with the calculator.